Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. And as always, I thank you for coming to my channel. Today we're going to do a tackle, a pretty interesting composition. It's by The Beatles, All My Loving. Great song. This is one of the songs, if not the song, that make you give a lot of respect to John Lennon because John Lennon was a heck of a rhythm guitar player. And it's, you pull up this song on YouTube, you'll hear that because his speed is just incredible. And he's clean and he's fast and he's consistent, you know. And uh, it's going to be a song that's going to give you a workout. If you are really, really new to strumming, maybe you want to leave this one alone. But it's a challenge and it'll help you build your speed, you know. So that's why I welcome you to, uh, uh, you know, to try to, you know, learn this song. And then learn it at the speed that John Lennon is playing it because the, the, the speed is incredible. It's like, whoa, really? And it's like... uh. They could easily make this out of a beautiful ballad, but uh, it's good the way it is. It's in the key of E minor, and I'm going to put a chart up there on the screen so you can see it. And it starts off uh, F minor 7, B7 to E, and then C sharp minor to A, then F sharp minor, and then... As he's saying true, it's D, and then it's B7, and then it recycles, it goes back again. But then at some point before uh, it gets to the chorus, I think uh, the second half was at C sharp, then A, which is a triad, then B, then E. And then the chorus would be All My Loving, C sharp minor. And then the chord that comes after that is pretty interesting. I'm like, what is that? So I pull up professional sheet music, not somebody on the internet tabbing in the dorm room with the lights half out. Uh, professional sheet music, it's a C augmented seven, and I'll put the fingering right up under it so you can see uh, the first two uh, strings, E, A, is so uh, you don't play them. Then uh, D, G, B, E, which is six, five, five, four. Then it goes into that kind of that country swang, twang thing, which I love. I mean, they're really good at mixing up styles. Because this was a rock and roll song. And then in the change, they threw in an old-fashioned country and western chord progression, which is A7, E, F minor, F sharp minor, and E. Then at the very end, it's C sharp minor, then C, C sharp minor, then E. During the change, because George Harrison was another one just never getting his credit for the incredible guitar picking that he used to do. I mean, it's just incredible because uh, during the change, He's doing the A7, the E, F, sharp minor, the E. And he's adding so much color to it as John Lennon is holding down the rhythm chords. Now, the timing of the strumming is, according to the sheet music, it's just up, down, 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 up, down. And it's the timing is, because that's the strumming pattern, real fast, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. The timing is one and two, one and two, one and two. One and a two, one and a two, one and a two, one and a two, one. I can't even keep up with, you know, trying to say that. But uh, I'm going to attempt to try to uh, play it at the speed that uh, that John Lennon has played. Because uh, I don't have my, because I got quite a few guitars. And the one that, that will probably do this, guitar, this song justice. Because you're asking us another thing. Your action has to be low. You're not going to be strumming that fast and that hard and that consistent with high ass action. Forget about it. If you want people to love high action guitars or action, don't pass this song back because you're not going to strum with the intensity that John Lennon is playing with high ass strings. You know, I never did like high strings. And I did a, a video a while back as far as a, a polling that you guys had 99% gas set. I don't want my blank high. I want it low as, as low as it can go before it starts buzzing. And that's kind of my thing on action. But to each his own, there's some people that love high action for certain various reasons. But uh, I'm not one of those people. So what I'm going to do is put it on the record and try to keep keep the tempo by listening to the copyrighted music, which you won't hear. You know, if that doesn't work out, I'm just going to slow it down and just, again, serve you up the chords. And you can build your own speed and, you know, get to the point where you can play along with the record. So. What I'm going to end up doing now is unplugging this. You're still going to be able to hear me. So I can plug it to the computer so I can hear the music.
like I told you guys, he's he's strumming pretty fast. <laughs> 